Hey guys, so this is the classic Obama giving Obama a award. Now, one thing, so obviously Donald Trump won. He's, it was a landslide, an absolute beatdown versus Camilla Harris. The Larian Community College is a huge lefty. He is a big supporter of Camilla Harris as well as basically any Democrat that has a left view. You don't need to take my word for it. Just got to watch one or two of his videos and you will see that there is a trend. He does not like Donald Trump. Way before, during the first election, him and at the time the Manosaurus were just making every tweet was about how much Donald Trump sucked, how much Donald Trump sucked, and so on. The reason that he does not like Donald Trump is he does not own a business. I am a business owner, and I can tell you, uh, even though I'm quote, retired at this moment in time, it's it's attractive, man. If you want to get into business, there's probably no better time to get into business right now than right now. Now, so I don't really understand this whole everyone get out and vote. And then if you vote for, I guess, Donald Trump, he gets mad at you and blocks you on Twitter. But he he told you to go out and vote. What, What Like half, more than half the people, right? voted for Donald Trump. In fact, let me find the popular vote. Um, let's see, the popular vote. Yeah, 70,205,768 voted for Harris. 74,097,914 voted for Donald Trump. Actually, more than half the people, 50.5% of the people voted for Donald Trump. voted for Camilla Harris, and then I guess the remaining, what, 1.6% voted for somebody else, right? So those are the numbers. Oh, here, um, uh, Jill Stein, okay, so it was Jill Stein, Robert Kennedy, Chase Oliver, and uh, a few others. So they got about half a million views a a piece, about 0.5%. So... I don't get, like, if you want people to vote Camilla Harris, why don't you, like, tell them, hey, guys, I I don't want there to be any confusion. We need to go out and vote for Camilla Harris. We don't want Donald coming back, right? We we don't want Donald. I mean, obviously, the the idea is that they're afraid of Donald. Uh, A lot of Magic players, uh, specifically trans individuals, they think Donald is the devil incarnate. Um, I don't know. I mean, they're afraid as... They be afraid, man. They be afraid of the Donald. Um, now, again, back to uh, the issue. And, and the funny part is J.D. Vance is a Magic the Gathering player, right? He is. like He's actually currently a Magic the Gathering player. But he has, you know, he has uh, played Magic the Gathering as long as I have. He's been playing since Alpha Beta. He's one of the old school Magic the Gathering players. So I would say that at the end of the day, um, there is a very, very, very good likelihood that he is actually a more of a Magic the Gathering player than Tolerian Community College is, in my view. I'm old school. First pack I opened was beta. I've gone over this story a million times. I still have all my old cards, by the way. Uh, I found a way to make, like, infinite money glitch on Mirage. Mirage is my favorite set. And people are like, oh, you're so racist. I'm like, no, Mirage is my favorite set because it was a great set. And there were uncommons that you could pay to booster packs. So I was buying booster packs from my local store at, like, two fifty dollars a pack. And if I pulled one of the tutors, I could quick flip it on, it was, like, Yahoo Auctions for, like, at least $3. I told my dad this, and then I proved the model. So I was selling all, and then, like, I got all the rares. And, and time... You know, Lion's Eye Diamond wasn't worth very much, but in time, I, I just accumulated a shit ton of, like, valuable cards. Because, like, again, it was an infinite money glitch, right? Because as long as I pull uh, one of these tutors per pack, I break even. Now, again, we sold some of the rares. I think Tika's Dragon was something kind of cool at the time. So, like, why don't, like, why don't you be obvious with, like, your, what you're saying? Like, you don't want people to vote to Larian Community College, right? You want people to vote for Camilla Harris. I don't know th- this whole Democrat thing. Go out and vote. Go out and vote. Like, it's not the Republicans saying that. It's all the Democrats. Well, um, what if you go out and you vote for Donald Trump? 
Yeah. Um, that would be uh, a disaster, <laughs> according to... <laughs> it would be an epic disaster, right? So, I, I don't know, man. Like, this is, like, doesn't make sense. Like, because, like, honest, honestly, right, when he says go out and vote, um, you know what that means. Like, we all know what that means, right? His audience is very left-leaning. So, when he says go out and vote, everyone, 99% of his audience is going to vote for Camilla Harris. That, that's what he means, right? But, like... The one percent, or I guess the five percent, right? Like, remember, Donald Trump won the major, the popular vote by a landslide, man. He got fifty point five percent. Camilla Harris didn't even get forty eight percent. That's a big difference um, when you count like the whole state of California voted for Camilla Harris, right? <laughs> anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.